the axle mounted dish brake system is used in LHB coaches, we know it, right? These coaches are designed for an operating speed up to 160 km per hour and tested up to 180 km per hour. That's why brake system is very important. The compressed air brake system is used in trains, but how the airflow works in this brake system? Do you know it? In this video, we will learn the air distribution system and its connection. On the basis of pipe, the air brake system is classified as single pipe brake system. 20 pipe brake system. As we know, compressed air brake system is used in a train. That's why air coupling hoses are used in between the two coaches for the continuation of airflow between the brake pipe as well as the feed pipe. These pipes are known as brake pipes (BP) and feed pipes (FP), which are installed on the underframe. The brake pipe and feed pipe runs throughout the length of the coach. Now, we will learn some parts of this hose pipe. Coupling head. Ceiling washer. Clamp. Hose. Hexagonal nut. And, cutoff angle cock. The air brake hose couplings are provided in the brake pipeline and feed pipeline throughout the train, for connecting the brake pipe and feed pipe. The cutoff angle cocks are provided on the air brake system to facilitate coupling and uncoupling of air hoses. It consists of two parts, cap and body which are secured together by bolts. The cap and the body together hold firmly the steel ball inside it, which is seated on a rubber seat. The ball has a special profile, with the provision of a groove at the bottom portion, for venting the air to the atmosphere. The main devices of the brake control are mounted onto a module plate, if you want to learn more about module plate, please check out our next video. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop your learning.